G'day folks, in this video I'm making a fairly simple brass part from 3.8 brass hex and I'm using gang tooling because my turret decided it didn't want to work properly again. This Sumitomo GF low cutting force insert is actually meant for grooving but I'm using it for side cutting as well. I did adjust the depth of that deep hole jobber so that that witness was no longer there the idea being that the stub drill can then find its own centre and they don't wander off after you've done a number of parts. I'm making a hundred of these parts and not threading them so that the customer can actually use a die box and just uh, apply whatever thread he wants to as he needs it. Here you can see that reverse chamfer cut it just stops the burr being quite so bad on the edges of the hex. And this 30 degrees of rake here, you can see on this uh, side profile that I drew up of the GF insert, is probably what makes it such a low cutting force insert. 30 degrees is pretty extreme. This is just a standard stub drill, not a CNC stub drill, but if you're not doing too many parts, they work fairly well. And here I'm using the stub drill just to break the sharp corner on the drilled hole. Here's a simulation of the stub drill doing its thing. Now you'll see I'm using a deep hole jobber to actually get the full length of the drilled hole. The reason I used a stub drill was to give a bit longer guidance for the deep hole jobber rather than just spotting and hoping it would come out in the right place. And I was quite pleased with the result. I think it worked much better than just spotting and then letting the long drill drill the whole depth uh, that was required. Now we're back to the parting tool being back in action and finish the turning and almost parting off. Right a quick look at the simulation of the final bit of turning and then we'll have a look at the whole process from a bit further away so you can see the spacing of the gang tools etc. Right, I've sped this up a bit so that bloke watching down the back doesn't fall asleep. And as you can see, there's a little reverse chamfer. Stub drill. Then the deep hole jobber. I'd had a go at trying to line that drill up a little better there and you could see there was a bit less swarf coming out when it started. Then we're back to the parting tool, finish it off, job done. Thank you for watching.